I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Good evening to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church. It's Thursday, the 11th of March, and I want to thank you for joining us as we gather online to pray the office of evening prayer. I'm going to take a few moments to light a candle that symbolizes the prayers of the scattered church, continuing to ascend into heaven even if we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of evening prayer will begin on page 20. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 85 and 86, beginning on page 438. Lord, thou art become gracious unto thy land. Thou hast restored the fortunes of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the offense of thy people, and covered all their sin. Thou hast taken away all thy displeasure and turned thyself from thy wrathful indignation. Turn us, O God our Saviour, and let thine anger cease from us. Wilt thou be displeased at us for ever, and wilt thou stretch out thy wrath from one generation to another? Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. I will hearken what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace unto his people and to his saints, and unto them that turn their heart to him. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth springeth out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give what is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall direct his going in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve thou my soul, for I am godly. Save thy servant that putteth his trust in thee. Thou art my God. Be merciful unto me, O Lord. For all the day long do I call upon thee. Comfort the soul of thy servant. For unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and gracious, and of great mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, Lord, unto my prayer, and ponder the voice of my humble desires. In the time of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou hearest me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. There is not one that can do as thou doest. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. O oh, knit my heart unto thee, that I may fear thy name. I will thank thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and will praise thy name for evermore. 
for great is thy mercy toward me. And thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and a band of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before their eyes. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn thee then unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and help the son of thy handmaid. Show some token upon me for good, that they who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Because thou, Lord, hast helped me, and comforted me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book of the prophet Jeremiah, the tenth chapter, beginning at the eleventh verse. Thus shall you say to them, The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is he who made the earth by his power, who established the world by his wisdom, and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain, and he brings forth the wind from his storehouses. Every man is stupid and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is put to shame by his idols, for his images are false and there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment they shall perish. Not like these is he who is the portion of Jacob for he is the one who formed all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground, O you who dwell under siege. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I am slinging out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and I will bring distress on them that they may feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt. My wound is grievous. But I said, truly, this is an affliction, and I must bear it. My tent is destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me, and they are not. There is no one to spread my tent again, and to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are stupid, and do not inquire of the Lord. Therefore they have not prospered, and all their flock is scattered. Hark a rumour, behold, it comes, a great commotion out of the north country, to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a lair of jackals. I know, O Lord, that the way of man is not in himself, that it is not in man who walks to direct his steps. Correct me, O Lord, but in just measure, not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Evening Prayer continues on page 21. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Epistle to the Romans, the fifth chapter, beginning at the twelfth verse. Therefore, as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all men sinned. Sin indeed was in the world before the law was given, but sin is not counted where there is no law. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who is to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the effect of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses brings justification. If, because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Then, as one man's trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one man's act of righteousness leads to acquittal and life for all men. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Law came in to increase the trespass. But where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Evening Prayer continues on page 22. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, 
and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, Almighty God, look upon the hearty desires of thy humble servants, and stretch forth the right hand of thy majesty to be our defence against all our enemies. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may obtain of thee the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us, especially in those working to contain the spread of COVID-19. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. And send down thy blessing upon all who labour to prevent suffering, and to forward thy purposes of love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd invite you now to call to mind some way in the last 24 hours that you've been particularly aware of the presence of God. Where have you seen God at work in the world, and just as importantly, what have you seen God doing? Give thanks and praise for the gift of that experience and pray for the grace and strength and courage to join in what God is doing in the world. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill thou, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thanks for joining us this evening. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you, and if so, I hope you'll take a few moments to like this video, wherever you found it, on Facebook or on YouTube. Take a few moments to do so. That makes it easier for other people like you to see more things like this. If you take a few moments to share this video with someone that you think would appreciate it, that's also greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment to, to subscribe to our YouTube, our YouTube channel to make it that much easier to find your way back to us the next time we gather for prayer. And until we do that, be good. God bless and take care of each other. Bye-bye.